All right, the first product in the kit is a cleanser. And not most people think of a cleanser as just, well, something to wash my face with. That's not quite true. Yes, you have to, A, remove bacteria and any other kind of pollutant from the skin. B, yes, you want to start removing that excess dead cell buildup that happens to everybody that gives people the idea that they have dry skin, when in fact they don't. There's no such thing as dry skin, only dead skin. Uh, after that, you want to emulsify any surface debris and flush it away. But what you don't want to do is completely strip the skin of all of its natural secretions, the, the very vital secretions that give us a, our skin its balance and its freshness when we're young. You know, nature is a marvelous uh, thing. Nature has given us our own moisturizer, for instance. So uh, following the cleanser, we want to replace that moisture. Now, is this in the form of moisturizing cream? How many times over the years have women and men approached me and I'm explaining a regimen to them for their home use and they go, well, which one is my moisturizer? And I cringe at that word because the word moisturizer actually was invented in the 1960s by a New York advertising firm to sell beauty creams. Creams do not moisturize. Uh, they only feed if they're formulated properly and of course they offer the lipids to the skin that it may need. Uh, the real moisturizer comes from two secretions that were given to us by nature our sebaceous oil gland, and our sudoriferous sweat gland. Water and oil, carefully and cleverly occluded by nature to give us the acid mantle that keeps our skin soft and dewy and bright by nature when we're young. And as we get older, of course, these glands are either blocked by dead cell buildup or they shrink. And so that acid mantle isn't available to us. So common sense tells us as a fundamental part of the kit that we replace that acid metal every single day and now we're moisturized.